In this video we are going to review uh, five questions that cover target 4a. Question number one is this, question number two, question number three, number four, and number five. So to begin with number one, we are given a graph. Uh, it's modeling a, an object that goes through the air, up, 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 and then it comes back down and it hits the ground. And we want to figure out what that maximum height is going to be. So the maximum height is going to refer to the largest y value on this graph. So if we review all of these points, uh, the highest possible y value is going to be right here. I'm going to highlight this point. And then if we follow our graph across to the left here, to the y-axis, we know that that's going to be 5 and that's represented by height, uh, that's our meters. Well, I should say that's in meters. Now we don't need to state this information but we could also say that the maximum height of 5 feet happens at, uh, it's going to be one second because if we follow this straight down here to my, uh, my horizontal axis which is represented in time we see that one second has happened. So. Um, this point is going to be 1 comma 5. Now keep in mind the maximum isn't 1 comma 5 that's just the point at which where it happens the maximum is going to be actually 5 meters right here. Okay on to question number two. So our object starts right here where time is zero and then height is also zero and it's going to go up in the air Time is going to increase, it's going to increase, keep going, keep going, keep going. My object falls back down to the ground and here uh, it reaches two seconds and that's when the object hits the ground because if we follow our horizontal axis over across to the left, we see that our height is zero right here. So that's going to be zero meters and that happens at two seconds. So we could say that that object was in the air for a total of two seconds. Question number three is looking for initial height. So we have an object going through the air again and we want to figure out the uh, initial height of this object. So we have to figure out where time is zero. Uh, time is the horizontal axis here. Uh, our zero is going to be right there. So all we have to do is look up here on this axis to figure out the height of our object. So uh, our graph, it crosses our vertical axis right here which would be about 50 and that is in feet so the starting point of our object before it flies through the air is going to be at 50 feet and that is uh, zero seconds too. Question number four focuses on uh, intercepts and A is asking us to uh, figure out what we know about an intercept on the H axis now to help me see what's going on here, I'm going to graph this. So I set up a graph down here and now I'm going to plot all my points from the table. So there they are. And I'm going to run a line through all these and that will just show the shape of my graph. Now it's important to note that my vertical axis here is going to be H, that represents the height, and then my horizontal axis here is going to be uh, T for time. A is asking us for e, uh, the H intercept. So if we look at our H axis here, we see that the graph intercepts it at 50. Um, so what does 50 mean? Well, in this situation, we have a bouquet being thrown through the air. So the height of 50 happens when our time is zero. So if I follow this point down to the, to the horizontal axis here for time, uh, our time is zero. So at zero seconds our height is 50 that represents the starting point of the bouquet so before it was thrown it started with an initial height of 50 feet and then you could also point out that this happens when time is zero seconds and you could write that as point uh, 50 comma zero um, so uh, now on to B it says what can you find uh, I'm sorry, what can you learn by finding the graph's intercepts with the t-axis? So um, do we have any t-intercepts uh, down here? No, nothing crosses through this axis. Um, but if we continue this data onward, so if we got more eventually, 
we would assume that it would cross the t-axis and that would be at a point of maybe I don't know six and a half or seven seconds and that's when our height would be zero again um, because we'd follow our graph back over here to the verti vertical axis um, which would be zero so that's probably when the bouquet is hitting the ground and you know what actually I just realized I'm looking at this part right here it says in centimeters so really uh, right here this should be the initial height of 50 centimeters and everything I was talking about before instead of being in feet it should be indeed in uh, centimeters so if there was a t-intercept it would represent when the bouquet hits the ground um, because it never actually does here but that would be when our height would be equal to zero question five is comparing selling price which is s and it's represented in this column here compared to profit margin which is capital P in this column here. And question A is asking us if there's a minimum or maximum. So if you look at the graph right here, you can see that the graph is an arc. So that's going to tell us that we have a maximum, and that's going to be at 12,500. Um, if you didn't have this graph here, though, you'd have to look at the table. Uh, and to determine if there's a minimum or max, you'd focus on the values that would have the uh, the vertical axis here which would be profit um, and if you look at negative 12 uh, from negative 12 you'd have to go up to get to zero so that would be an increase and then from zero to eight that would be another uh, increase I for increase and then eight to twelve there's another increase and then from twelve to twelve point five there's another increase but once we go from twelve point five uh, to twelve we're going downward so there's going to be a decrease and then 12 to 8 that's another decrease and then 8 to 0 that's another decrease so what happens actually is all of our data is we move from uh, the left part of our graph to the right part of our graph it's going upwards so I'll draw a couple arrows going upwards and then it comes back downwards So that's going to make an arc which represents a maximum value. Um, like I said over here, our maximum was going to be 12,500. In the table, it's represented right here by 12.5. So I'm going to go ahead and write 12.5 here. Um, I guess, or you could say it's 12,500. Um, let's see, and then the uh, intercepts what do those mean so if you're looking at the intercepts we know that we have no y intercepts here well I should say uh, p intercepts here uh, we do have two intercepts for s which is right here at 10 and then we have another one at 60 so those points will be uh, 10 comma 0 and then the other one will be 60 comma 0 and what do those exactly mean in this situation well um, it means that our selling price uh, down here is going to be 10 so ten dollars for selling price that gives us a profit margin of zero which is our y value um, so whenever we set the price of this product for ten dollars we're not getting any profit at all um, and then likewise if we set the selling price at 60 right here we're actually not getting any profit either so you know maybe if we set it at too high people won't buy that product whatever it is uh, and if we set it set it too low we might just not be making any money um, so again both of those are going to be your intercepts um, and that's when our profit is zero so to recap question number one was looking for the maximum height uh, which we found was five feet question number two was looking uh, for how long an object was in the air and we said that was going to be two seconds question three was looking for the initial height and we said that that was going to be 50 feet uh, question four was a little bit more complex uh, we're checking out the intercepts and, and whatnot of this table uh, we graphed to help us see everything that's happening and question number five was again looking at another table uh, as well as a graph but this time we are focusing on a maximum and then also identifying the intercepts and explaining what they meant in this situation.